and welcome to NASA Launchpad. I'm your host, Alicia Sears. Many of you have seen a shuttle launch, maybe not in person, but at least on TV. But only 355 humans actually experienced the ride from within. And since astronauts don't major in astronaut stuff, these men and women came from a wide variety of backgrounds, careers, and experiences. From pilots and engineers, to doctors and scientists, to congressmen and teachers, even a former pro athlete, and representatives from 16 different countries have flown on the space shuttle. So what was it like? Who better to tell us about the space shuttle experience than someone who took the ride? Here's STS-118 and STS-133 astronaut Al Drew. Dear Lord, please don't let me screw this up. And uh, that's about what you're thinking on your way out to the pad. It's like, am I really prepared for all this? Have I done all the training? Of course you have, but you're just wondering if there's some some notch, some missing spot there that's gonna go really south on you at some point during the mission and you're kind of recounting everything and making sure that you've, you've, you've checked all the squares. And then there's liftoff. In just a little over eight minutes, this mighty machine went from standing still on the launch pad to traveling at more than 27,000 kilometers or about 17,000 miles an hour. What does it feel like to accelerate over 3,000 kilometers a minute? Well, the first thing you get is a, is a pretty good kind of like a punch in the gut as you come off the pad because when those solid rocket motors light, you, you just feel it and it just shoves you down the seat pretty violently. It's rumbling and shaking. You know, solid rocket fuel doesn't burn you know, nicely or smoothly. You're not going to compose poetry. You're not going to cut diamonds. You're not going to do anything but hang on for dear life for those first two minutes. You're pretty well pinned to your seat you know, for those last few seconds of the ride to orbit. Most missions lasted several days. Astronaut schedules were carefully planned, but what did they do during their free time? I never did sit around watching TV or listening to the radio or something or reading magazines. I wasn't, wasn't doing that. The closest I would come to free time is maybe the last 45 minutes of pre sleep. And you, know, you go find some secluded part of the space station with the orbiter and just press your nose against the glass and watch the Earth go by. Enjoy the fact that you're in space, take it in because you don't really pay a whole lot of attention for the other 16 hours and 15 minutes of the day. After completing a mission, astronauts prepared themselves and the space shuttle for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Of course, it took the hard work and dedication of more than just the astronauts to make the space shuttle flight successful. Hundreds of thousands of people helped make the shuttle fly, and many of those people were critical to making sure the shuttle returned safely to Earth. And the astronauts who stepped out of the orbiter brought home with them memories they would never forget tethered to the very bottom of the truss structure, way out on the truss structure, far away from the main stack, and just busy trying to get this piece of, you know, seeing a bolt down to the side of the station. There was, was some trouble bolts from another mission. Uh, well, somewhere in the middle of this, I'm cleaning up my work site. The sun comes up again, and I'm seeing a you know, blue ocean, and you know, just everything. And the space station lit up again, because it was really just breathtaking to, to behold that. Space Shuttle was a magnificent program. I feel privileged to have been a part of that whole thing. It was strange to be flying on something that I thought of as being of historical significance. I remember being you know, 18 years old when STS-1 launched. Never really imagined I'd be on one of the very last missions of a Space Shuttle. And it's their stories that will inspire us to again head for the stars, continuing our exploration of space, this time to places far beyond the reach of the shuttle. Thanks for watching. I'm Alicia. See you next time on NASA Launchpad.